your Giants fans just want to get a quick video out to you guys this is actually some news that came out yesterday about our rookie well not rookie anymore but starting left tackle Andrew Thomas about an ankle issue that he'd had the entire season once again this was something that came out yesterday I'm just using the New York Post because I mean they've never really let me down as by obviously as you can see an, an article by Ryan Dunleavy and well let's talk about it basically the article is saying here that Andrew Thomas he had an ankle surgery yesterday and the giant left tackle posted a photo on Wednesday of his left foot wrapped in a cast along with the caption everything went well thanks for the prayers sources told the post that Thomas had ankle surgery to correct an issue that was known when he entered the league and nagged him since training camp he wanted to get it fixed without fear of doing further damage. First of all, I really don't even want to go even further than that in the article because that alone is a lot of information to me right there. This is an injury that's been bothering him since training camp? So you're telling me Andrew Thomas played on a bum ankle since training camp the entire regular season? The entire regular season, this dude was playing on one ankle. And for those of you that weren't in my stream last night, I'm... This is this video is mostly for you guys. I mean, people that were in the stream, they got my reaction. It was a great episode of the Young Guns podcast with Kid Blue. We had uh, Pest the Analyst on as a guest. It was superb. You guys go check it out if you didn't catch that. Uh, oh, and by the way, for members, the Alan Robinson video is already out. For regular viewers, the Alan Robinson video will be visible tomorrow. But but to get back to hit this right here, this just adds on to how good Andrew Thomas is, in my opinion. I already thought he was good. You guys, know, if you've watched my channel, you know how much of a big Andrew Thomas fan I am. I've wanted him since December of last year. I wanted the Giants to take him so badly in the draft. I mocked him to us. I tried to do everything to, to show that like the Giants should take this guy, and we did take him. I was happy with the pick. I wholeheartedly believe that he was the best tackle in that draft, and he was the only true left tackle in that draft. And even you know at the conclusion of the rookie season, even though people you know you could literally grade. And say that he was not the best tackle in his rookie season. I still believe he was the best tackle out of the 2020 draft. You know what I'm saying? Jedrick Wills, in my opinion, is only real competition. You got Wirfs, who's playing on the right side. Becton, who had a better season, but he also had injuries and had like, what, like two or three times the amount of penalties as Thomas did. And Thomas had a good rookie season. He had his ups and downs, 100%. There was a stretch there where he was looking like one of the best tackles in the league, you know, according to the pressures that he was letting up and the zero amount of sacks that he was letting up. I think it was a good three or four week stretch. And there were stretches where he looked like a rookie. And I think that's where people get carried away and they forget that Andrew Thomas is a rookie. He's going to look bad. Every single rookie has their ups and downs. It's all about how he bounces back the following year and how he adapts. Now you add this bum ankle into that, the fact that he's been playing with essentially an injury the entire year. First of all, tough as nails, there's pros and veterans that, do, that don't do that. This is a rookie that's doing that. You know we got the right guy, man. How tough, how, how strong-hearted, how, how dedicated to the job do you have to be to play on a bad ankle all year and still have a good season as a rookie in the NFL, as a rookie left tackle in the NFL? Can oh, So much respect goes to him there. And... I don't want to say it's an excuse, but you can use this as a reason for why he struggled. I'm not going to say it's an excuse. I'm not even going to use it because I'm satisfied with it. But this is on top of other things. You know, it's on top of the COVID season. It's on top of as a rookie, you had like no off season. It's on top of people forget he was working with a bad offensive line coach for half of the season before Judge took over and finally fired that offensive line coach and hired a new one. And he had to adapt to that new offensive line coach coaching style. People forget that. The man went through so much. I'm loving it. All right, now I'm not loving that he had to get ankle surgery, but I'm loving what we got in Andrew Thomas. And you know, he should be good um, by March. And in fact, let me continue reading here. It says, Thomas is expected to recover by March, according to a source, and he will be able to participate in the NFL offseason program if on-field activities are included again, depending on the COVID-19 situation. The first round pick out of Georgia played 96.3% of the Giants offensive snaps and didn't miss any due to injury. He was rotated out of the game at times. He's going to do fine, man. He's going to be, if he's recovered by March, he's, you know, that's what they say. I fully expect him to recover by March. Andrew Thomas about to have a breakout season. I'm getting that feeling. It's way too early to call. It is January right now. 
but you add all this information here you know what i'm saying the coaching stuff he's gonna have a full off season and now he's gonna have two ankles he's gonna play with two ankles instead of one come on man it's getting me excited like come on and you know there's a quote here by the man himself the goat andrew thomas he says obviously it didn't start out the way i wanted it to but being a rookie left tackle in the nfl is a tough deal it just took some time i'm running my own race not paying attention to what's going on on the other lanes just focusing on what andrew has to do to get better that's what i love to hear man learning to navigate the pain throughout the season could explain some of the footwork issues that caused thomas to struggle early in the schedule see what i'm saying see what i'm saying he allowed 57 quarterback pressures but did not allow a pressure in three of the last six games and earned highest single game score from pff in the season finale against the cowboys his learning process has been one he's really attacked daniel jones said earlier this month he's done a good job with that his approach every day has been the same i'm impressed with him i think he's gonna be a great player and so do i dj so do i this this is amazing once again there's like pros veterans who wouldn't play the season on a bum ankle you got andrew thomas the rookie left tackle doing this i'm happy i, I got a feeling he's gonna do great things next year and it just reinforces my thought that he was the best tackle available in the draft and i hope he comes out and he proves i hope he proves me right but more importantly i hope he proves the naysayers wrong that said oh we should have went back then oh we should have went worse even for those guys it's not like we got somebody terrible in andrew thomas like come on man y'all like there, there's some fans out there really acting like andrew thomas is eric flowers and he's the complete opposite of that man Fla you thought flowers would have played on a bump bum ankle nope but like i said quick short video want to get it out to you guys put your thoughts down below put your comments down below let me know what you think were you impressed with this uh were you not i mean how do you think he's gonna do in the next season when you consider all the factors put it down below let me know what you think and i'm out thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share i'll catch y'all in the next one